Hey friends, I am back with another refinance rate tracker update video. It's Fed Day. It's Wednesday, September 18th. We've been waiting for this day all year. Uh, this is a day that the Fed should have cut the Fed rate back in March or April based off of the missed jobs report from March of 2023 to March 2024. I've talked about this multiple times in, in previous videos, but let's talk about today. The Fed made a bold statement today. They dropped the Fed funds rate by 50 basis points. The expectations in the market was 25 basis points. So big statement. This is the first time, get this you guys, the first time the Fed has dropped the Fed rate this aggressively since 2009. Kind of a big deal. It's also the first time that the Fed has dropped the Fed rate since 2020, the very beginning of the pandemic. So why do they do this? Stimulate the economy. They're realizing right now that we're in a little bit more trouble, economically speaking, than they expected. And they're trying to get the market moving, the economy moving in the right direction. So what does this mean to you? Number one, mortgage rates did not drop by 50 basis points or a half of a percentage point today. I want you to watch this one minute video that I made at six o'clock in the morning when I finished my workout this morning and I was heading in to my weekly men's group. Take a look at this and I'm gonna come back in one minute and close this down. Hey, good morning, friends. I think a lot of people are in the dark when it comes to the Fed rate and what it actually means to you. Today is, it's Fed day. You're gonna see a lot of social media posts about the Fed rate drop and including my clients. They believe that today interest rates, mortgage rates are actually gonna drop a quarter of a point. That's somewhat true, but it's indirectly true. So think about it this way. About a month ago, when the Fed started talking about dropping the Fed rate, mortgage rates started to fall greater than a quarter of a point. So today mortgage rates have improved over a half a point over the last month. But I can tell you today, mortgage rates are not gonna drop a quarter of a point and the Fed's gonna drop the Fed rate at least a quarter of a point. And the news is gonna go crazy and there's gonna be a lot of confusion. So listen, being in the dark is okay if you've got a headlight or a flashlight and a GPS. That's what I'm here for. And one last thing, we've got a great market right now. This is a great market. There's a lot of opportunities. Let me know if you have any questions. Love to help you better understand what this means to you. All right, so like I said in the video, it was already baked in. So when the Fed started talking about dropping the Fed rate about two months ago, the market started to react and we finally started seeing mortgage rates drop over the last six to eight weeks. Today, check this out. Mortgage rates actually went up today. The Fed drops the Fed rate, mortgage rates actually went up. It's because it was already baked in. So it pays to work with a pro. I have a half a dozen clients that fought me on this. They're like, nope, we don't wanna lock our interest rate in until we meet with the Fed or until the, we hear about the Fed meeting. I was right. Most of the time I am because I study this stuff for a living, you guys. And in this market and in this economy, who you work with matters. I am so grateful for every single one of you guys' clients. If you're not a client of mine and you're watching this on social media or YouTube, I want you to reach out to me. I'd love to connect with you. And if you are a client of mine, share this information with someone that can help. Understanding the market is huge. Having a strategy in this market is even more important. I'll see you next week on another rate tracker update. Bye for now.